We don't have to do anything big. But when we share what we have done even if it is a small thing. We will experience double happiness. Sometimes, our folks tell us not to laugh out loud. And not to show off to anyone even if we have done something big. For not everyone will celebrate. And not everyone will be happy for our success. But if we have really achieved something. Sharing that with others gives us a lot of happiness. And if the other person is also happy, it will be even more awesome. Such a thing should happen. How to find such a person? How awesome it will be to share with a person who is happy for us. This is all there in the book Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal while talking about how productive we should be to achieve in life he also talks about. Shouldn't we celebrate our achievements? Shouldn't we tell it to everyone? Sharing always gives us a high. There could be four kinds of responses. When we share happy news with someone. What are those four types of responses and which one is better? First thing is to share our happiness with others. We can also know how to react when someone shares a happy news with us. The first is an active response. The second is passive response. There are constructive and destructive response as well. Active constructive. Active destructive. Passive constructive. Passive destructive. The four types of responses are easy to understand. Active and passive response is on one side. Is the active response constructive or destructive? Suppose you say that you came across a good gym with great interiors and a good trainer. You feel that it will help you do a great workout. One person's response might be super you feel that it is a very tame response. This is a passive response though it is a positive one. This is not an active response. This is passive constructive response. So, they are not actively involved. But the response is positive and constructive. Suppose you talk about a particular gym while the other person talks about a gym of their choice. This is an active response as the other person is also involved. But it is of no use to us. As the other person is not bothered about our gym or our fitness goals. The other person is talking about a gym of their preference. Though the response is active. It is not a constructive response for us. So, it is a destructive response. We will say something which will generate a response. But the response won't be taking us into account. It will be about the other person. There is no use for us in the other person's active involvement. That is the second one. The third is a passive destructive response. So, you are talking about a gym that you saw. The other person will discourage you immediately. Which will hurt us. Because we weren't expecting such a response. Just ignoring you is not a response. While a completely negative response always hurts us. It is not positive or active. It is destructive. It is passive destructive. The best response is active constructive. When we are sharing a happy news with someone or vice versa. The response will contain the excitement that you have joined the gym and how to take it forward. We will feel that the other person is more involved and concerned about our well-being. This is the best response. Active constructive response means the other person is in the same constructive mood to celebrate your progress. And the person is expressing it. That is active constructive response. When we drew something in a childhood, our parents would say super for namesake and then ignore us. But we used to feel elated about it. But when someone gets fully involved in our drawing and inquiries about it, we will develop our skills better. In present times, when there is a lot of distraction. Wanting to do something and doing it is actually something to be celebrated. And when we have active, supportive and constructive people to share it with, we will be motivated to try out a lot of things. Which among these four is your type of response? Do you have anyone who gives you an active, constructive and positive response? Who is your influencer? This book has a lot of other stuff. 
This particular topic is only two pages.